we're not going to get much out of that electric field expression. It's time to go to the irradiance. And maybe it'll make sense there. So the reflected irradiance. We know that it's one half epsilon naught C. We would write it as E naught squared when we were using uh, cosines to describe everything, or sinusoids. Now that we're doing complex, we actually know that that means uh, e, the E field uh, times E star times a complex conjugate. When you're using complex numbers, you want the magnitude. That's how you do it. This is really the magnitude uh, squared. And also, before, when I wrote it as E naught, then we needed the cosine squared. I didn't write that part. But anyway, th this is what you would write if you're doing it complex. So we say, let's do that then. One half epsilon naught C. And if we just write E as it is, it's E naught E to the J omega T times this big um, mess R times one minus E, i.e. the minus J delta. Um, over, uh, I forgot, <laughs> over 1 minus r squared, 1 minus r squared e to the minus j delta, right? So we have that, and then multiply it by the complex conjugate. Also, e naught e to the minus j omega t, right? Complex conjugate just means make all the square roots of negative 1 the opposite sign. So e to the minus j omega t times um, r 1 minus e to the plus j delta over 1 minus r squared e to the plus j delta. All right. All right, so now we multiply these. Well, it's going to help a little bit. You can see this one cancels that one. Those two together make um, e to the 0, which is 1. We have e naught squared. So we have 1 half epsilon naught c e naught squared. And now we actually need to multiply these out. And I believe, yes, we are going to do that. So r times r is going to be r squared. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, foil out those. That's going to be 1 um, minus e to the minus j delta, um, minus e to the plus j delta. minus e to the plus j delta, and then uh, plus e to the 0 is plus 1. So that's actually the two ones can give you a 2 if you're so inclined. And then in the bottom, oh, it's just 1. We've got to multiply out the bottom as well. 1 uh, minus r squared e to the minus j delta. Uh, minus r squared e to the plus j delta. Delta, and then finally plus r squared e to the zero. All that mess is in there. Let's see. And now we are going to simplify it. We're going to use the two cosine delta. equals e to the j delta plus e to the minus j delta. You can just get that from Euler's formula if you were to say this is cosine delta plus j sine delta. This is cosine negative delta plus j sine negative delta and the sines and the cosines and they're symmetric or anti-symmetric and blah, 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 and it all makes that. All right, so if we were to use that to get rid of things like this and that, then what do we end up with? Then we end up with the irradiance at R is 1 half epsilon naught C E naught squared. And it looks like this term is not going away. We have R squared times 2. And then it looks like minus 2 cosine delta. These two terms make 2 cosine delta. 
Uh, that's a C. Okay, and that two just comes from these two ones right here. And then in the bottom, what have we got in the bottom? Um, well, for one thing, this was R to the fourth. That's what I'm, something was wrong. There we go. That was R to the fourth. So in the bottom, what we have left is R to the fourth. All right. Uh, and then we have minus R squared times two cosine delta. All right. So you pull a minus R squared out, you have the what's left. So yeah, minus R squared, two cosine, I can't write that delta this low, two cosine delta, and then I'm sure there's a one, just why not, right, plus one. Just to make sure we can't algebraically do anything else to it, we might as well have a plus one there. Okay, so now when you look at that, you say this reflected irradiance, this is actually the incident irradiance. One half epsilon naught c e naught squared. Therefore, this is r big R of the film. Right? I don't want to apply it to big R off the front surface. We know big R off the front surface is a little r squared. This is big R, the reflectance of the entire film, considering both the top layers reflecting and the lower layers reflecting. Okay. Let's see. Let's leave it like that for a minute. <laughs> 